Hello and welcome to Excel 2016 Module 7. This is part one. In Module 7 we will be creating an Excel application to make it easier for a user who is not familiar with Excel to work with it effectively. The first part we will be working with range names. We will be creating them using the selection called create from a selection and also maintaining them. We're going to begin by using our workbook called Winter. You need to be on the receipt worksheet and we're going to be entering names of ourselves. So let's go down to E11. When you click on E11, you'll notice in the name box, it has the cell reference E11. If we want to give that cell another name, we're going to click in the name box and we're going to type our new name, which we are going to say Activity Fee. Now you'll notice I did not put a space. There are certain naming rules that you can use. The book does describe these. I don't spend a lot of time trying to memorize them because if you violate one, you will get an error message the error message will give you those items that you cannot use and then you can figure out how to fix it. But one of the things you cannot have in a name range is a space. So we're going to leave the space out. When you hit enter, it now has named that cell. Now the cell does still have the reference name of E11 so now it has two names. Let's go down to E12. Come up and click in our name box and we're going to put Rockport DISC and hit enter. Now we can also name ranges. So if I come up here and I select D2 and select the range all the way down to F8, I can come into the name box, excuse me, and I can type a name for that entire range called Youth INFO for information. We'll do one more range. We're going to scroll down and select the area here that is A40 through F40. We are going to name that range Transfer Area. And again, every time you hit Enter, it will, in fact, create that name for you. Let's go ahead and go to E33. We're going to call this RE. Whoops, escape. Make sure you click in the name box before you start typing. REC activity. And then we'll go down to E34 and we will call this by clicking in the name box REC Rockport DISC. You can see 
that it's pretty simple to create names. So we can continue that. But we can also look at some of these names that perhaps we can create an easier way. Before we go into the next way of creating them, I want you to click this dot drop down arrow next to the name box. You will notice that the names that we just created are listed there. If you choose one of them, it will move you to that particular cell or range of cells. So if you click on Youth Information, oh, we didn't get that one. We'll have to go back and do it. Transfer Area, it'll take you to that range, not just a individual cell. Well, let's go back and pick the one up that we did not get. So let's highlight this area here. Again, it's D2 through F8. And we're going to click in the name box and type in Youth Info. And hit Enter. Now you can see we have it there and it will highlight that area. Now what if we want to create names for a bunch of cells that we already have headings next to? And you can see that right here in this registration data area. You can see that we would like to be able to name each one of these cells where we're typing in the registrant's information. But since I already have names for each of those cells in the headings here, I would rather use this information as the range names instead of typing them in individually. So what we're going to do is we're going to select the range A3 through B12. Now range names are located on the formula tab. And I think the reason they're put on the formula tab is because one of the key reasons that we create these range names is so we can use them in formulas. So they put this feature on the formula tab. And you can see we have this group here called defined names. This group is going to be working with the options for the range names. We have this one here that says create from a selection. It opens up this dialog box and it is asking us where the names are for each of the cells. Now we do not have names in the top row, so we're going to uncheck that box. But we do have names in the left column. So when you click OK, what it's going to do is it's going to take the name in the left column and it's going to assign it to each of the corresponding cells in the right column. So let's go ahead and click OK. And now if we click our drop down list, you can see that we have a lot of additional names that we did not have before. So again, that's using this option called Create from selection. And now let's look at what we need to do if we need to edit or delete an existing name. So once we've created them, we need to go into the name manager 
if we want to make changes to them. So again, that is in our defined group on the formula tab. And you can see the name manager option. Let's click on REC activity fee. And we're going to choose edit. And we're going to change the name. We're going to call this the receipt fee. And then click OK. So it renames that cell for us. Notice when they go into edit, we can change the name. We can also ch change the cell reference that it refers to. Let's go ahead and change the name of REC Rockport Discount. So we're going to edit that. We don't need to change the cell. It's pointing to the correct cell. So we're just going to change the name of the field to Receipt DISC. And click OK. Now let's say we also have decided that we do not need this range transfer area. So if we're gonna if we're going to change the transfer or delete the transfer area because we do not need it. Here's what I found on the web for if we're going to change We're going the to choose delete. And then we're going to say OK. We're also going to delete the name Youth Info. We've decided we don't need that as well. So when you click on Youth Info, you can click on Delete. Once we're done making changes here, we can close this window. But before we do, I want to point out that you can also create new range names on this name manager. However, I think that the other two ways that we have shown are much easier to work with. So I'm going to close the name manager and I'm going to save the work that we have done thus far. And that concludes our first part to module 7.